I'm Monica, energizing you to be fit, healthy, happy, and free. In this video, I want to share with you part of my workout, yet I am going to be speaking, so it's going to be between a tutorial and practice for myself. And yes, I'm drying out my nails because I, I like to do everything sometimes at once. I like to batch up things, and I decided to batch up part of my training, and I said, you know what, I'm going to make it as short as possible using my jump rope, my dumbbells, and my elastic tubing, and you'll probably see the links below. If not, ask me where you can find this, because it's like having your own gym wherever you are, at home, at your office, or traveling. So no excuses not to be working out, okay? So for me, it's really a pleasure to be able to get you fit in 90 days or less, which is why I also invite you to fit90x.com, Follow the links below so that you can start getting my emails, my notifications, and right now, I don't know when you're watching this video, but it's just a work in progress like I am. And I plan to keep it a work in progress, even if I already launched it, yes, because I want to serve you the best, and that's why it's so important for me to tell you from the heart that holistic success is all about that. It's about you optimizing yourself in body, mind, emotions, and spirit to be the best you can possibly be, so your productivity source as well as your general well-being. So yeah, okay, let me get to it. I'm gonna be warming up a little bit, so this is gonna be like a condensed version of what I would do. And I am gonna do a little bit of cardio, just a few minutes, but you could uh, take this up to seven to 10 minutes, and I always tell you, and it should be in the description of this video, that I want you to first watch the video, just for fun, and to see what I'm doing, actually, and also to listen to my indications. I'm gonna to try to give you some instructions and some modifications, if possible, of some of the exercises. Like, if you really want to jog it out for warm-up, that's fine, too, or just do it here with always one foot or one heel on the ground. And yes, I want to thank you guys for subscribing because if it weren't for you, I wouldn't be here. Seriously, we all need motivation, inspiration. We need something like a reason, a purpose in life. And even though I'm very clear on mine, I do get incentivized by you guys. And it really means a lot to me for you guys to be subscribing because that way my views go up and therefore I have more possibilities and more resources and hopefully I'll even have some profits to have you guys uh, watching the best video and for me to get another camera just like this one because I love this camera and also a wireless microphone so I can actually move around and not have the restrictions that I have with the other ones that are wonderful and I really appreciate them by the way if Mark is watching thank you so much Mark your microphone is gorgeous beautiful and so are the lights so thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you guys Thank you more specifically. Okay, abs in, this is really important. In your warm up, if you're not at the gym, just imagine you're building a gym at home. That's why I like to teach you exercises to do at home or anywhere you go. And yes, I mean, who can't do this? Of course, we could also do kind of dancing moves. We could do uh, little, little jumps and we could do some cardio like in aerobics. You've seen me. Okay, there's many ways to warm up. But I think it's, uh, it's a matter of being in the program so you can have all the choices and then you combine whichever one suits you best and sometimes we feel more like jogging, sometimes we feel like jumping and doing the jumping jacks, you know? Sometimes we feel like being super creative and aerobic type. Sometimes, yeah, we feel like practicing our agility. <laughs> okay, even for the warm-up. But the idea of the warm-up is just as its name sounds, to get your heart rate up, your respiratory system revved up, as well as your, did I say heart rate, respiratory, and of course your body temperature, so that you're ready to do what's coming. Okay, I feel I'm ready to do what's coming, but yes, I'm going to do it first with no weight, no resistance at all, and, uh, and I'm going to start with the cardio. So yeah, making a little space here. I'm so lucky to have this space. I know, it's wonderful. Although, when I was practicing, I hit the lamp, so I hope not to be breaking the light bulbs today. And yes, I am gonna start jumping rope because that's what I prepared for. That was my warm-up for this. And five and six and seven. And four and five and six and seven. I'm watching my feet 
so that they land properly because most of the time I'm just going on my the balls of my toes, you know, and the idea is for you to actually land. Maybe not completely with your heels because then you wouldn't be able to have that agility. But yeah, try to land and that's what I'm going to try to do. And of course, I like to do this with a gym boss in a roll timer and you should have the links below and I will use it in future videos, okay? I just had to get the battery in and it was so many things to take care of, even my hair. And I'm like, okay, I have, let's just do the video and then we'll do a Tabata. But you can see all my other videos about interval training that's really, really great. Like this would be kind of interval because I stopped to talk to you. Okay, so I'm going to go at it again. <laughs> and I'm going to try to keep this video short, which is funny. 10, 11, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. 14, 15, 16, 17, 9, 30, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 13, 14, 15. There were, I was hitting the, the mirror. And I want to turn around. Maybe now. And I'm going to move the weight so that I'm not hitting them either. That's funny. So I'm going to have them near the camera. That way I don't hit the weights nor the camera. Yeah. I'm going to do a little bit more of rope jumping, and yeah, some people tell me they want longer videos, some people say shorter videos, and I'm like, okay, let's do something intermediate today, <laughs> at least for this one. And it doesn't matter when you're watching, the idea is that this serves you, this helps you, and if you have better ideas of how to train or any questions about my warm-up and why I couldn't warm up with a jump rope, that's another idea. If you're really, really good and you're going to work out super high intensity in the jump rope, definitely do warm up with a jump rope at a slower pace or at a lower intensity, if you know what I mean. So, I'm going to turn around. And then I'm going to turn it around again, okay? I'm going to go back. And one of the ideas is that we have to watch our back because many times I find myself even watching my own videos doing like this but now it's better to squat down and find a way to do it as if you're exercising for me that's like functional training it's like okay we got to squat down right so squat down to get your stuff from the ground instead of doing that because usually that hurts your back we're not always engaging our core let's be honest and I'm gonna do some double pump because I want to work the triceps and the calves. So I'm going to lift my heels here. <laughs> I love you. Okay, lift your heels. And I love you too because you help me. I help you and you help me. So it's a win win situation. It's like a joint venture. You know, we're going on a joint venture where I'm reinventing my channel, rejuvenating, and then from the inside out, I want to renew many things. I want to do things better. I want to optimize it and I want to be more consistent with my videos, which is truly important. So yeah, you help me and I help you. Now, let's do what I promised, which would be the double pump, in which case I'm going to do this exercise of triceps extension overhead, triceps pressed like this, at the same time that I lift my heels, two, three, smile, four, five, six, seven, Eight. It's funny because I'm lucky I got some, a mirror, but every single gym that I've ever gone to, whether the fancy or the crappy gyms, they all have mirrors. So yeah, mirrors do, do help and, and do work, especially if you're watching your form. Like, okay, are, are my elbows together? You know, maybe I can't see myself, but then when I check in the mirror, I can, uh-oh, there you go, like that. And go all the way down. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. I was going this way, right? <laughs> Right? And I like to turn around for uh, not only fun purposes for me to have some fun with the exercise and also some challenge because turning around while maintaining the conversation and also knowing what you're doing takes a little bit of coordination. 
So yes, this takes coordination. I'm going to put these down and grab my jump rope again. This is one of the ways that I love to train, independently of having the gym boss here or not. I like to do it because it's fun. And yeah, if it's not fun, where are you going to do it? So most of our activities, I want to keep them fun. You can play it by ear, because usually I say, okay, I'm going to do at least 100, and then when I'm done doing 100, then I stop. But I might just stop with less, because I've got to get going with my next video in Spanish, so it's okay. I did less than I can, but that's okay. I'm picking up the weights, being mindful of my posture. Okay, very important here. And we're going to go at it again. So we have the overhead press combined with the heel lift for the calves, gastrocnemius, yes. And exhale, and exhale, and something really important. And you know it because I'm always emphasizing that and also reminding myself. I also find myself in some videos where I'm like totally relaxed in the abs and no, and they're like, okay, <laughs> I had to hold them in. I'm not being too obsessive about it, but yes, it's important. Of course, if I'm talking, I might woo, relax so that my voice gets that projection. <sighs> but let's use Pilates methods to keep that navel towards the spine. Okay, I don't know how many I did, but it's okay. You could do, uh, in this case, I wouldn't say eight. You could do like 12 to 15 if the weight is right. If it's not too much weight, and it all depends, of course, how intense you're training, I don't know. I assume you're like an intermediate, but still, I can't assume. And like I said, in the description, it should say, first watch the video to know what, you're, what we're gonna do. Second, do it with me without any weight at all, just with your body weight. So you would do something like this and like this. Got it? And then, next time, you can do it with me with whatever weight you have at home. I would recognize uh, the importance of having different uh, weights and uh, variations, and also in the tubing that I have here. Where do I have it? Oh, there. <laughs> yes, uh, but for this video, I might just stay with the weights because there's no more time. So I'm going to do a couple more sets and we're done for this video. But definitely subscribe so you can get more of me and I can get more of you telling me what you want to see in the next videos because I'm doing it, like I said, for you to get fit in 90 days or less. So now I'm going to grab the jump rope because it's fun and because keeps my heart rate up, and yes, it's like, interval training is like this, peaks and valleys of, of heart rate, and I can't tell you exactly the heart rate that you have to have because it's very, very, very relative, and you have to consider the perceived rate of exertion, okay? men, but I also want more girls into the mix, okay? So invite your friends who are girls, who might benefit from my videos and who can get in shape. And also get young, young and youthful, because one of the things that people go, I was like 40, okay, 40? And then I thought of the 40-year-olds. Many times the 40-year-olds, not only the women, but the men, they let themselves go. Well, sometimes they let themselves go at 30 or less. <laughs> but you know what I mean. So getting old doesn't mean you lose your your mojo doesn't mean that you lose your attractiveness and that's a, just a superficial when it comes to the inside getting older doesn't mean that you're going to stop caring about yourself what are you going to do i have any ideas i wanted to work uh well i want to work more triceps so i'm going to do that with a lunge simultaneously so we're going to work this lunge similar to what i did on the live recently three and four and five, and six, two more, and now I'm going to do it with the tricep extension, like one, two, three, how's that going? <laughs> Let me check on the mirror, in the mirror. Um, four, right? Five, six, seven, and eight. Wow, that was not easy. Like I say, it's not just the strength, it's a coordination to get to that point. And yes. <laughs> I did it like that, right? So now, gotta switch. 
And we're going to do the eight here, two. We have our legs hip width apart about this, okay? Four, five, six. So I turn around, not just because it's a challenge for me when it comes to fitness and coordination, but because that way you'll see more, more of my, whew. Let me check in the mirror. Tell me in the comments what you think. And I'm gonna do one more exercise combining the legs with the triceps, okay? I'm actually gonna do a plie squat, okay? And as I go up, I wanna uh, do the extension but with more weight. That's what I decided. So, ready? Just one arm. And one. And two. Let me check in the mirror. Three, and four, that's pretty good. And five, and six, two more. Wow, that was the hardest. Eight, <laughs> I kind of cheated there a little bit so that I would keep my technique. <laughs> this is the last one. So we're doing the plie squat, and as we go up, we, we extend our elbow. One, this is pretty heavy. I wasn't expecting 10 pounds all of a sudden. Three, that came spontaneously. I have a script, but I sometimes don't follow it very well. So I gotta get good at that too. Although I don't like to be a robot, you know? I like to do some spontaneous things. Yes, wow. Wow. You see, in the last one, I didn't go down that low. So be sure to do this more rather than this. Okay, this is more effective if you go down a little bit lower. And yes, let's finish off with a little bit of jump rope and thanking you for being here, for liking, for sharing with your friends, female friends too, please. And thank you for subscribing, like I said, it really means a lot. And subscribe to the links that I also give you. <laughs> what happened here? I'm hitting the, yeah, I can't go right in front of you, so I'm gonna have to do a sub-risk. Five, six, and seven, eight, and one, and two, and three, and four, six, and seven, eight, jump two, five, and six, and seven, eight, and one, and two, and three, four, five, and six, and seven, eight. You know what? I only did the warm-up for cardio, but yeah, very important. You could do the warm-up for these without any weight at all, and for the lunges, okay? <laughs> and even for this, just lifting without any weight at all. That's very important. And also, after you jump rope and after you're done with this training, be sure to do the cool down, okay? Really important. So, that's it for now. I would love to continue, but now I'm gonna go in Spanish. So, gracias. <laughs> Thank you very much again. Remember the tips, uh, check the description for those links so you can have your gym at home also with your jump rope and your dumbbells. And yes, the elastic tubing is vital. And I will teach you in another video. And you've seen all my previous ones. If not, please subscribe again, like I said. And before I go, I just want you to tell you, I wanted to tell you something that I'm creating for you, okay? So definitely be consistent with your training, okay? No excuses. Always have the energy and ask for help if you need it, okay? Because guess what? Fitness, in mind, body, emotions, and spirit is the foundation of your success. That's right. Bye. Love and light.